welcome back to another Psych2Go video. So, what is intelligence, really? We know it isn't as simple as an IQ score, which is something even Stephen Hawking thoroughly denounced. And we can likely agree that Mr. Hawking was quite intelligent. Intelligence is a complex, multi-dimensional construct that can mean a variety of things for a variety of different people. So it can be hard to put into words what it all means. But no matter what definition you may adhere to, there's one thing all of us can agree on. You know intelligence when you see it. A highly intelligent person is someone who's gifted at analyzing concepts and building upon them to form a better understanding of the world and those around them, how everything is connected, and why things are the way they are. These people often have remarkably high IQs, academic achievements, and go on to become successful leaders and trailblazers in their fields. Wondering if you're one of them? Let's look at eight struggles only highly intelligent people will understand. One, you get bored with small talk. If you've ever heard the quote, great minds discuss ideas, average minds discuss events, small minds discuss people, this is what it means. Highly intelligent people aren't drawn to what they consider the unimportant details of life. Chatting about the game or the neighbor's newest lawn flamingo isn't something they see as a must talk about item. Rather, they enjoy discussing ideas and concepts in anything from art to science. They think in ways of the deep, the abstract, and the thought-provoking, meaning small talk feels exhausting and time-wasting. Two, you're careful with your words. Do people around you often describe you as reserved or overly serious? Many smart people tend to think more than they speak. This means that if they choose to share something, it's highly likely they've considered it from every possible angle, with rationale and logic to back up the conclusions they've come to. All this preparation, though, can mean long silences while they construct the thought, which then gives the impression of being reserved or overly serious, which leads to the next struggle. Three, you're socially awkward. Here's where the common movie trope of the awkward nerd comes in. You've seen it. The wide-eyed stare as a smart person realizes their response is awaited in silence, or their cringe-inducing statement made at exactly the wrong time earned them the disgust of the popular kids forevermore. Okay, we admit it, the media displays this in an exaggerated manner. However, they aren't all wrong. The awkwardness is even backed up in research. A study by Davidson in 2015 showed that people who have a high IQ tend to have a lower EQ, or emotional intelligence quotient, which is what helps us form relationships and hone our social skills. Life, it's all about trade-offs. Four, you struggle to make good friends. Is making true friends and finding your crowd somewhat of a challenge for you? Some people are highly intimidated by intelligence and the perception that someone is too smart for them. They feel like they can't relate, or perhaps they're not smart enough. People don't generally like to feel this way, so their response is to simply not befriend the smart person. The highly intelligent person is still the person, and people get lonely. If you can relate to this, you may think, if it's my intelligence that drives people away, then should I dumb it down for acceptance? Well, ideally, you're drawn to other people in the same intelligence sphere as you. They may be rare, but they're out there. Five, you don't get out much. If you're highly intelligent, you'll most likely struggle in social situations. You aren't so good at small talk and find it hard to make friends. What effect does this have on the bigger picture? It could mean you don't get to go out much. So you focus heavily on academics, throwing yourself into work, work, work. Even if you generally enjoy academic pursuits, the severe life imbalance between work and social integration eventually leads to overwork, unhappiness, and possibly low self-esteem. Six. You're overly analytical. Have you ever heard of paralysis by analysis? Well, this is a common struggle for the highly intelligent person. It happens when you're crippled by always needing to know the correct answer or the most correct answer or making the best decision. Do you always struggle with indecisiveness? Just like how you think thoroughly of all the angles before saying something in conversation, you do the same thing before you make a decision or give an answer. You also tend to be able to find so many angles, pros and cons, that it can end up making you more indecisive. There is so much input that it clogs your output. Seven, 
your mind constantly craves exercise. Being a highly intelligent person means you enjoy and need constant intellectual stimulation. In short, your mind has the munchies. You always want to do something that engages your brain skills, dips you in a new discovery, or lets you stretch your thinking muscles. This means simple everyday tasks or already solved problems feel like a drag. Pretty soon, so many things feel been there done that, that the search for the next thing becomes arduous. Eight, you're always feeling pressured to succeed. If we may paraphrase the late great Uncle Ben, with great intelligence comes great expectation. If you're a highly intelligent person, you've probably felt that somewhat indirect pressure to succeed. From who? From everyone. Yes, much of it comes from within, however. Every time your friend casually says, so, another 4.0 this semester, or drinks on you for being employee of the month again, right? A little part of your mind nudges you, saying, this is your place. You need to be here. Always. So you end up pushing yourself to constantly prove your intelligence, leading to exacerbated perfectionist tendencies and an unhealthy, disproportionate fear of failure. Do you relate to any of the struggles mentioned in this video? Let us know in the comments below. We get it. Feeling a bit of victory by knowing things others don't sounds so incredibly good. However, there are always many sides to a thing, and being smart isn't always a piece of cake. Others might try to define you by your intelligence, seeing you simply as a brain or an IQ score. Still more, many may never get past that, so they never try to get to know you maybe even villainizing you out of jealousy. This can leave you lonely and feeling disconnected. Truth is, there's nothing wrong with you for being who you are. In the end, others don't validate or create who you are.